Hey YouTube, what's going on? Lee Station 4 here with another suggestion video. Today I will be doing Knight vs. Samurai. Um, I had no problems doing this one. Uh, mainly due to the fact that these guys were both, uh, well they were both knights, right? I mean, the, um, you know, the knight was obviously, you know, uh, mainly in Europe. Um, and the samurai was like the knight of Japan. Or Asia. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, this will be, um, on this one I'll be doing horseback. Now, neither of these warriors were actually, um, showed doing horseback in their original episodes, but, um, they were both on horseback, so I will be doing them as if they were on horseback. So let's get started here. Alright, so for short range, both warriors will be on horseback. Alright, both of them use swords, and both swords, I would imagine, could be used on horseback. Alright, so, the samurai brings a katana, and the knight brings a broadsword. Alright, I'm gonna give the edge here to the broadsword, um, mainly because, uh, the samurai's katana was not able to penetrate viking chainmail, and I feel its chances will be even less against knight plate armor. Um, so I don't think it re would really matter if you were to slash or stab um, the plate armor. I don't think it would penetrate either way. It would be very difficult, and I don't think it would be lethal if it did. Um, whereas the broadsword, it's, it's a lot heavier than the katana, so even if you it's not able to um, penetrate the samurai armor, it could still be used as a club sort of weapon. All right, um, and, and actually, I think it would be able to um, stab through the samurai armor, and you'll find out why when I, I'll cover the armor. So, anyways, edge broadsword. Alright, so for medium range, um, the samurai is going to be on horseback for this one, but the knight is not. He's going to be on foot. Okay, and we have the naginata versus the, um, naginata, whatever, versus the halberd. Alright, so on my edge, the naginata can be used on horseback, um, but I feel it will, it will not be effective against the plate armor, a lot like the katana. It's basically the same kind of thing, a very sharp, um, skinny blade, and I think whether you stab or thrust it, I think it'll either break or just not penetrate. Um, and the halberd, it, it has a hook, so it can actually take people off horseback. So it has that advantage over the samurai on the horseback. Um, and then once they once it's taken off, um, once they're taken off the horse, they're, they're at the whim of the knight. The knight, you know, he can do whatever they want. Them. You know, use the spear of the halberd, use the axe of the halberd, you know, whatever. All right, so edge halberd. Alright, so for long range, both warriors will be on horseback. The samurai brings the Yumi, and the knight brings the crossbow. Now, um, I'm sure people argue the fact that the Yumi was actually used on crossbow. I did, but the guy who told me to do this, the suggestion video, he said that the Yumi was used on, on horseback. So, I mean, I'm not doubting him. I believe him. Um, so, yeah. I did it on horseback, and, I, and I, I'm pretty sure the crossbow was used on horseback. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I think it was. Alright, so Edge. Um, although the crossbow was a dominant weapon back in the medieval times, due to the fact that it, it, it required a lot less training than the bow, um, so you can muster up a lot more men um, in a lot shorter period of time, but um, the, the bow and arrow has always been more effective, alright? I mean, we see that, we saw that in Europe, not only in, you know, Japan, but in Europe with the English longbow. The English longbow was an extremely dominant long-range weapon. It was a lot more dominant than the crossbow. It just required a lot more training. But once you did get that training, it was extremely lethal. So that's why I'm going to get the edge of the Yumi. Just like the English longbow, I think it would be able to mow down knights, and, uh, yeah, so edge Yumi. Alright, so for special weapons, um, the knight brings the... Or, or, sorry, um, for, yes, for special weapons, the knight will be on horseback and the samurai will be on foot. Okay, so the knight brings the, um, the Morning Star and the samurai brings the Kenobo. Okay, now both these weapons are kind of the same thing. They don't have a, a blade or an edge. They are main, they mainly use their weight and plus some other things. Like the Kenobo is a big club and has iron, uh, little iron, like, dots all over it. And the Morning Star is a big metal ball with, uh, spikes on it. Alright, so, edge. Although the Morning Star has the ability to be used on horseback, um, I feel it would be too unwieldy of a weapon. Um, I mean, we saw in the episode, the night episode, that it can, it can actually do damage to the user, and I mean, that's not what you want in a weapon. Alright, and I think that the, the superior training of the Samurai um, will be enough to kind of make that weapon useless. It can just go around it, or whatever, alright? Whereas, actually, I think the Cannonball will actually prove to be very effective against the nice plate armor, because it's a club-like weapon, and that was a big thing, they use a lot of clubs um, against knights, like the mace, alright? But, because it, it can't penetrate, but it can do major damage inside. Okay, so edge, cannibal. Alright, so for armor. The samurai, um, Do Maru armor, I don't know if that's, that's how you pronounce it, it's spelled D-O, the O is a little line on top, and then M-A-R-U, whatever. Um, and the knight has plate armor. Alright, I'm gonna give the edge of the plate here, because the Do Maru may be more flexible, um, but it lacks a breastplate, alright? It doesn't have one solid metal breastplate, okay? <laughs> and that can be very, uh, 
very detrimental because, um, especially with some of the knight's weapons, like t a thrusting sword, a, a spear, a spear attachment on the halberd, the crossbow, um, not really the morning star, but... So, yeah, I mean, the plate armor is much more effective, and even though it may be heavier, it'll prove to be a lot, um, more protective, which is what you want in armor. Okay, so my overall edge. Now, on one side here, you have the extreme, extremely disciplined samurai, and on the other, you have an ill-disciplined knight, alright? Um, but for me here, it's gonna not only come down to the weapons, but the armor is gonna play a huge part, mainly because all a lot of these weapons are the same. You know, you have two swords, alright? You have two pole weapons, the halberd and the uh, naginata. You've got two um, bow-like weapons, a crossbow and a bow and arrow. And you've got two club-like weapons, the morning star and the cannibal. Alright, um... And I think that the knight has the edge here, because I don't think any of the um, samurai weapons will be able to penetrate the knight plate armor, except for possibly the Yumi. Um, and I think that's about it. And even that will have a tough time, okay? Um, and I mean, as far as the knight's weapons goes, he, got the, he has a really heavy broadsword, which could I think it could penetrate the samurai armor. He has the halberd, which is a spear attachment. I think would have no problem going through the, uh, the armor of the samurai. Um, the axe, it it, uh, it it might have a tough time, but it just has that weight going down on it that it would be very um, painful. Um, the crossbow, I think, could penetrate. It won't necessarily kill, but it'll cause you know damage over time. Okay, and then the morning star, I think the morning star will be proved to be um, not very effective at all. Um, and also not to mention the fact that the knight does have a shield. Okay, he does have a shield. Now they didn't they didn't um, talk about that in the. Uh, in the actual knight episode, it did show him with a shield, and, you know, knights, they come with shields. Okay, so for this reason, I'm going to give my overall edge to the knight. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, let me know what you thought in the comments below. It would be close, though. If they did fight, it would be very close, I think. Um, but, I mean, this is basically just the same case as the Spartan against the Samurai. And, I mean, we actually saw that, right? The Spartan beat the Samurai due to the Spartan, um, armor. Alright, his weapons weren't better. His weapons were a lot worse than the Samurai's. It's just his armor was, uh... It was a lot better. So, yeah. The edge here goes to Knight. Knight's my overall pick. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to like, rate, subscribe. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later, and bye.